describe briefly how the graph of fx log x minus 2 3 base can be obtained from the graph of y equals log x base 3 then graph the function and find the domain the vertical asymptote x intercept and the y intercept okay log 3x and here log 3x minus 2 so this graph is the graph of this function is obtained by shifting the graph of this function this minus 2 inside so 2 units to the right okay so we write the graph of fx or y doesn't matter log x minus 2 can be obtained by shifting the graph of y equals log 3x is minus 2 means shift to the right to uh, by shifting the graph of this two units to the right okay like here log 3x any log function they pass through 1 0 here and x axis sorry y axis which is same as x equals 0 this is x equals 0 or y axis this becomes the vertical asymptote and this is the graph of y equals log 3x log x okay so 1 this is 0 log 3 of 3 is 1 so 1 2 3 at 3 this value will be 1 all that means that at 3 log 3 for base 3 is 1 so this function becomes 1 at 1 2 3 here it becomes 1 I'm sorry this is not 3 it becomes 1 now we, we are supposed to graph this function Okay, the given function fx equals log 3x minus 2 we need to shift this two units to the right so this vertical asymptote we need to shift two units this one goes to three because we are shifting to three so one goes to two three and we'll have the same shape Okay. And this is 0, 1, 2, 3, this is 2. x equals 0 was the vertical asymptote for the regular log 3x, but now it's shifted 2 units, so this will be the vertical asymptote. Okay, and 3. 3 0 is the x intercept this is 1 0 for the regular and this is the graph of y equals x minus 2 the shifted everything shifted 2 units to the right let's answer the domain now the domain for this regular function domain is all real numbers all positive real numbers this x this x should be bigger than 0 x should be bigger than 0 same thing here for log 3x minus 2 x minus 2 should be bigger than 0 x minus 2 should be bigger than 0 that is same as add to both sides so x should be bigger than 2 so all the numbers bigger than 2 are in the domain but not 2 or, or we can write x bigger than 2 as 2 to infinity okay and next it wants us to find the vertical asymptote v a x equals 0 is the vertical asymptote is shifted to so it's clearly x equals 2 and this graph is coming closer closer to this vertical line x intercept in this case 1 0 now it's shifted to to the right so basically 3 0 3 or 3 0 I don't know how that 3 0 or you can just say x equals 3 and finally y intercept 
okay y intercept there is none because this graph does not intersect y axis same thing here but if this if this graph were shifted to the left then it would intersect y axis but in this case it does not intersect x axis so y intercept none if you want to find the range range will be look this graph is decreasing so all the way negative infinity through all the way to the positive infinity all is increasing slowly it's not axed but range would be negative infinity through positive infinity because this graph goes all the way to negative infinity slowly increasing forever so it goes to positive infinity